what does that even mean, Bowers Game Club? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again for another How to Play video, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Uno Ultimate Marvel. This is for two to four players, ages seven plus, and it's from Mattel Games. And the first thing you're going to want to do is pick which character you are going to be. So in this particular game, I'm going to be Thor versus Captain Marvel. What that means is I can open back up the box, and I can put the other two characters back into their nice little spot, both their cards and their exclamation point cards, which we'll talk more about in a second. So, now that we've got our two-player game set up, you're going to shuffle up all these cards, except for the one that has your name on it, and that will tell you also your special ability. So, Thor and Captain Marvel, I have those cards set to the side. Also, you're going to have a stack of exclamation point cards. You'll have some event cards, and you'll have some villain cards. And likewise, these are all Captain Marvel's cards, and you can tell because the symbol matches your player card. But you're going to take all the danger and event cards for both players, you're going to shuffle them up into one combined pile, and then place that in the center where everyone could reach it. So with our danger deck formed, each player is now going to get seven cards from the top of their life deck. Be sure to keep these cards secret from other players, and now the youngest player is going to go first. So on your turn, there's going to be five phases, but most of the time, you're only going to do a few of them. So the first thing you'll do at the beginning of every turn is any start of your turn actions. And you'll know if you have these based on your special ability or based on potentially the text on a villain. So for instance, this destroyer says, at the start of your turn, burn two cards. However, most of the time, you won't have anything to do at the beginning of your turn, which is when you'll get to your play action. And this is like regular Uno. You're going to look at the discard pile, which will be in the center, and you're going to play a card onto that pile. Like typical Uno rules, you either have to match the number or the color. Now, at the very beginning of the game, there's no discard pile. The first player, the youngest player, is going to play a card there. So we'll just pretend that Captain Marvel is going first, and they can play whatever card they would like now. So let's just pretend they play this three red right here. Now, what you'll notice is this three has an exclamation point in the top left-hand corner. That means the next thing you're going to have to do is draw a danger card that you are going to have to deal with. So in this particular instance, it says, event, plan ahead, burn one card from your hand, unless it's your last card. Now, this is actually kind of a good event, because once again, to win Uno, you need to get rid of all the cards in your hand. Now, let's talk about what burn means. You're going to have your own separate burn pile that you're going to keep next to your draw pile. And this is essentially like losing life, because if you ever have to draw a card from this pile and there's no cards left to draw there, you're eliminated from the game. So for those of you keeping score at home, there's now two ways to win. You can either eliminate all your opponents, so you're the only person left with cards right here, or get rid of all the cards in your hand in typical Uno fashion. So whenever you have to burn a card, you're going to place it in that pile, and you're going to place it face up. And so now I have a burn pile right here. The event is over, and then we go to the end of the turn. And some cards might say you do something at the end of the turn, but if not, it goes to the next player, which at the beginning of the game starts going clockwise. So now moving on to Thor's turn, he can play either a red, a three, or a wild. So I feel like Thor might play this draw two card right here, which means Captain Marvel is now going to draw two cards from her life deck there. And whenever someone makes you draw a card, your turn is skipped. So it would go right back to Thor, and let's say Thor plays this five next. Since it has an exclamation point, he's also going to flip over the top card of the danger deck, and now we have our first villain in play. Now, whenever a villain comes in play, there's immediately going to be a when flipped thing that will happen. So in this case, burn one card from your hand and then add one card. So Thor might burn that card, face up as always, and then draw a new card. And sometimes it will say all players will do something when it's flipped, so pay attention for that. Also, if you ever need to draw a card from the danger deck and there are none, just reshuffle the discard pile. But let's focus on what a villain card does. And the first thing I need to let you know is that you can never have two villain cards in front of one hero. If you ever draw another villain card, the villain that's in front of you goes into the discard pile. And just to clarify, if that happens, that villain has not been defeated. Because, as you'll notice on the bottom of every single villain, it will say to defeat, and then it will show you what kind of card you need to play on your turn in order to defeat the villain. And an enemy cannot be defeated on the first turn that it's drawn. So you're always going to have to deal with it for at least one turn. So in this example, if I were to play a green or a red card next turn, this villain would be defeated and they'd go to the danger pile. However, until that happens, while attacking, 
Thor will have to add two cards to his hand whenever he changes the color, which is really bad for Thor because his special ability is all about changing the color. But before we get you out and play, and let's go over a couple situational rules and then you'll be ready. So on your turn, you either need to match the symbol, the color, or the number that's been played before it. However, if you can't do that, or if you don't want to play a card from your hand, you always have the option to draw a card from your character deck and add it to your hand. Now, if this card that you draw could be played, you could play it as well if you'd like. Also, if a card ever tells you to recover cards, that means you're gonna take them from your burn pile and then place them at the bottom of your character deck. Likewise, if a card ever tells you to do an action and you can't do the action, you could just ignore it. Also, just like typical Uno, if you get down to one card in your hand, you need to say Uno before anyone else. If someone says Uno before you do, you have to draw two additional cards from your character deck. Next, if you ever get skipped and then something else happens before you take your skipped turn that causes you to skip another turn, for instance, a danger card, you're able to ignore that extra skip or lose a turn. You don't lose two in a row. But you continue to play until one of three things happen. Either you get rid of all the cards in your hand, in which case you've won the game. You lose all the cards in your character deck, so there's none left to draw there, in which case you're eliminated from the game. Or everyone else loses their character deck, and you're the only one with character cards left, in which case you've won the game. But that's Uno Ultimate Marvel. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun and thanks this for your time. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.